but uh, but good thing is is that I was in a tie system. I was learning the same material, same curriculum where Frank is going in the tie curriculum. So the curriculum was correct. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I was actually correct. Yeah, that. So so then uh, from that, I, uh, I also trained on the side yeah. as some. I've always kind of like common baby stuff. And so I started doing like Tai Chi and Tonal Martial Arts when I was about 13 or 14 or 15 or something like that. Uh, started doing uh, um, Fred Manis because I thought it was cool looking. Um, when I went to college up at Clemson, I had a little bit of college I was drunk for four years and then you get diploma. But anyway, her experience is totally different. She's not like that at all. Probably. Yeah. What's that? Well, I, I would say yeah. Kevin. I, I didn't say on campus, I say at home. Oh, I see. Anyway, um, <laughs> 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 oh, perfect. Right. Were they uh, in so, yeah, so, so I went to school there and I, and I, I trained in go to karate there. And uh, um, uh, what else did I do? At Kino. Um, basically, I signed up for all the clubs. And then I, I did all the clubs they had available. And then I also did a uh, um, uh, trained with Stuart Fowler up there at go to Nice film. Uh, then from there, uh, came back down here and worked for about a year, moved to China, lived in China for a while, and studied Yong Gong, Tai Chi, and uh, uh, Chao, and Chinese martial arts there. Moved to Asheville, opened up shop, and now I study wherever the hell I want to, and I just fly there to do it. Next week, I'm going to go to Israel and move probably go. Um, so essentially, I've studied whatever I wanted to study over the years, and I've uh, got, maybe you know, was talking about it. Uh, count the different black belts he's got. I've got 15 or 16, probably hasn't worked because he's been out for longer than I have. But same theory. And and uh, the reason I do this is because I'm a complete dork. I love this stuff. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, one of the instructors was talking about how his wife had some visit other martial arts with me on vacation. I have to sneak out. I feel like, you know, okay, I'm going to go see a girlfriend. And, and that would be a better excuse for me than saying I was going to go to Christ. But, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be in the hallway doing stuff to so think you're doing. Get back here and watch TV. Anyway, so uh, uh, she says I'm obsessed. Uh, but uh, all of these things, she's totally right, I'm obsessed. But uh, all, all the great martial artists I know and all of my role models and heroes, maybe they're 60, 70 years old, and they're not only still owning a school, they're still learning and training and going to workshops and doing things like what you guys are doing right now, they're just always doing that. And that's why they're so damn good. They didn't turn 25 and go, well, I know everything. They just kept pushing themselves. And uh, I like that. So that's great. Let's work on that a bit. So with trapping hands, uh, trapping hands, we're, we're going to kind of put a little bit of perspectives on this. And I'm going to kind of attempt to take this with an evolution of thought, a journey into your mind. Talking about. Short That's right. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to sort of uh, we're going to work in how sort of how I developed that thought process. So uh, what we're going to start with is boxing because I don't think a better way to punch somebody. Right? I know I'm not supposed to say that. But come on, guys, we're punching this way or do this. Let me think. So uh, so we're going to work on our side and our position here. I've done a lot of karate too. I'm, uh, anyway. So, side so can do this quickly. So, one foot forward from the back. Hands right with your back hand. Have your hands to this, roll your fingers up, your thumbs on top of your fist, put your hands next to your cheeks. Okay. So, your guard's like this. Now, this hand is going to be next to your ear like you're talking on a telephone. Have a slight curvature of the wrist here. Elbow is in tight. This hand is in under this eye here. This shoulder guards your face over here. This hand guards your face here. This hand guards your face over here. Right? Now, from here, to do our basic punch, what we're going to work on is knee step, step goes out the back. As my friend Chen Hudson says, you got one hand protecting and one hand connect. So remember, this is not a guard. This isn't a guard. Anyway, we're here. Boom. So jab, right? Jab, cross. Move your hand a little bit, it's harder to hit. Remember, I was a kid, they would go so far as to have a line run around the outside of the classroom and say, it's just a horizon line. So whenever you move hey, here, the bad guy can also see your head move towards your tie. And then I'd have a kid say, and I'd be like, okay, you took your look at class, and they go, okay, well, I guess that's right. So I have the kid, and I'll go, okay, I'm going to move towards you as I punch, and you'll notice that you can't see me getting closer. And the kids are like, I can totally see you. Like, no, you can't. <laughs> statement. <laughs> it's a statement. 
in case you're wondering, yeah, I try to put most of my childhood in terms of South Park, it works for me. So we're here. Depends what data, sometimes what carpet, sometimes what stand, in my mind. Same. Right, yeah, okay, okay. Sorry, we'll get back to the top. Sorry. Okay. Please get serious with yourself. So we're going to go find the hands of punch, then for, for, your, for your cross, lead step again, hip slams, and you punch here. Notice that I kind of scrunch my shoulders up when I'm punching because I don't want to get punched here. So we don't want to be this way. Here's this fight. I'd love to fight that guy. I'd love to fight this guy, actually. Come on. Let us go. So, let's work out moving. <laughs> Move your head a little bit. You've got one, two. Next, you've got uppercuts, right? Uppercut. And you've got hook, boom, body hook. So play with those for a second. You've got boom, boom, pow. Right? You can put uppercuts, hooks. Put in elbows. Elbow this way, elbow up. One, two, three, four, five. Like you're doing your hair. Okay. So we've got our punch, our hook, and knee. And you're asking about coming off. He's got my reverse hair. What's that? He has my reverse hair. Dude. That is so awesome. You can your mustache off. And it was like, who me? <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> so play with that. So add in movement, bam, bam, elbow, elbow this way, put some knees, right? Boom, pow, pow. A little bit behind you, being like, anyway. Boom. Yeah, so, so now for elbows, um, I didn't bother crawling the guy because I think it's a very, very good system to begin people with. It is. It's not complicated, even I can do it. Oh, one second. So, elbows. Number one, elbow forward, do it with me. So one is straight ahead, pop, pop. Two is to the side, pop, pop. Three is behind you. Notice it for two and three, both swing that way, and turn your body and pop the, that elbow out. Pop, turn, pop the elbow out. Four is low elbow behind you. Five is you've got hit and pushed over a little bit, elbow up under the face. We're going to last pass in because we're here. Your shoulder bump, uh, nuts, elbow. Boom, elbow up. Six is uppercut elbow in the front. Seven is down elbow in the front. Like the bad guy's been over in front of you, you're like, ha, ah, suck it. Boom, like that, right? So that's what that would be. <laughs> Maybe I get the quarter jarred, you know that. Anyway, so, so, so add some of those. We've got our one, boom, bam, pow, pow, pow. Put in some elbows into your box. Let's go. Let's kind of fill with it. Yeah. Here we go, a little stuff. Boom, boom, bam, pow. <laughs> Good. I keep moving as I'm on my mouth here. Power comes from two things. Your foot seats. If, you're, if you have bad footwork, you can't fight. Fortunately, you don't have to be an athlete to have good footwork. All you got to do is a little bit of coordination. Isn't that much? So one is your weight shifts from one side to the next. Two is I rotate my heel like that, which rotates my hip. Like that, see? It's also good for doing some of our set you can't do the same. So, it's pretty good. Stop here, don't show. What's that? I thought it was good. Oh, yeah? Well, you go too. Do twist, Dad. Why? Okay. <laughs> it's pretty slick, man. I'm impressed. Same. <laughs> I'm better on the bench for my own throat. So, so, so if, if my weight's on one side, it's not my weight being on this side that gives me power, it's driving. So I create driving force into the ground and rotation from my feet and from my hips. And the punch comes out with the force from the ground. So this is, and going through this would be level um, one power. Four powers, there's snake, python, dragon, tornado. This is the beginning of level one. Uh, we can go into that stuff, that's a whole other workshop about that stuff. Um, is how to have power in the body. What? I'm just thinking the whole animal tornado. I didn't make it up. I have to think that's just like the tornado. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is that a Canadian devil? Come on. Yeah, the, the, the reason why it is not this. Is why it, so, level one is if you touch my top of my hand, and you so it's really pushing on constant pressure, right? So, you feel the deltoid in there. Level one is I use the oblique, the diaphragm, and the power goes into the ground, not the way Right, so that's level one of great power. So that, that's external. So Shaolin should have, have that. 
You know, so like if I'm doing this kind of thing and you're pushing my hand to my body, it shouldn't be that. It should be on the ground. Too. It should be on the ground. Right? So that's level one. Push my hand through my foot. If, if you don't have that quality, your kung fu sucks. Um, if you're not doing kung fu, don't work on it. Right? Uh, Krav Maga doesn't have that. Krav Maga has an uh, unmelted skeleton, which means that if you push on my hand, it'd be powerful with skeleton. Um, yeah. But they don't want that. They only go to five or six months and go to all people nice and stuff. But you can. Okay. But uh, uh, the, uh, so that's level one. Level two would be like uh, if you have my army. If he's pushing to my body, can I go level one where his power goes in my feet so I'm relaxed now? Level two, I'm going to move the same mass muscles on the side. Right? So now I get bigger over here. Right? So I'm using more of this. Right? So then I, I hit him with that. Right? So he. And I'm here. Well, totally off something about the way. It's her fault. So, so level one you push, I'm good for that. was in the feet. Right, level two is I'm a bigger snake. That says get bigger over here. That's right, so now. Let's get to that next time. Level three is right. So if level one is snake, which is the correct structure, level two is I'm bigger behind the structure. Level three is I'm going to have. The body mass go before the limb does. So that's dragon body. It's not like if you have an army that pushes right into me. Instead of being one, your power goes down. Two, I'm bigger. Three, I'm hitting you here. So you push on the arm, but I'm not there. I'm here. So if I move, that, I'm not even using that. So we're going to um, Level four is where you've got an army here. So if you push me up one. Right, power goes into the feet. Nothing up here, all down there. Two, I get fatter. I'm in the psoas. Three is this goes to you, so my body mass goes to you. So you push on that one, okay? it's not where I am. Four is ocean, or earth rising force. So then this goes up to you, this goes to you. Don't make move on at all. So then it hits you. You can't stop me because it's all this. So if you're attacking my arm, I'm using that. Tornado! He puts it on my arm. Is I've got one, power goes into the feet. Two, core mass gets big. Three, body goes to you, right? So you push a little bit, and I'm over here. That's nothing. That's nothing. Right? Four, feet rise. Right? Then five is I start playing larger space, creating larger force vectors. So I start, start playing some jungle force. To there. Did you? So I'm playing different vectors anymore. So um, people talk about uh, chi, ever heard of that? Chi is kinetic energy. You want to make it all mystical and whatnot? That's not. Kinetic energy. So what we're doing in internal martial arts is we're taking the relationship between potential energy, kinetic energy, and force. And essentially, we want to play the potential energy. If I'm here, how could I hit you? That's my potential energy, right? Kinetic energy, how am I moving? Force. I don't want there to be force. Because force is where there's a transfer of energy. I don't want the transfer of energy to take place in my body. So that's why I have to drop it to the floor first. So it stays kinetic through my body. That's all. Anyway though, who cares? Just like traffic guns. Nobody cares about that high level martial arts stuff. That's... So, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> And go ahead. Work on it. So, yeah. so, so uh, anyway, so if uh, so, what I want you to work on now is we're going to work on uh, something called 360 blocks. Now, now the first now, the first principle, first foundational principle is um, one, get off the X, right? Two, simultaneous offense and defense. So we're going to begin with just blocking circular blocking methodologies. You know, like someone's doing an uppercut or a hook or a punch or something like that. How do you block that? Uh, don't worry so much about the more complicated these things, because we've already well established today that that's going to block anyway. You guys may notice that. Okay. So you start like this, and how we, how we do this in Krav is a memorization thing. As, you're, as you weights on the ball of your feet, because you don't know what you're doing anyway, so you go here, you just put and go one, two, three, four, five, you bend over, six, seven. Only it's one hand at a time. So I might go here, or here, or there, or there. Boom, 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 boom. Right. So 
more Jews with your partner, so you can make a bunch really hard. Anybody? Yeah, that's what you'll get. 
So now I started, I don't buy any more black knives, by the way. It's very shiny or orange or something. Same thing with the flashlight. I used to have a little flashlight I carry around for working in the basement and stuff. <clears throat> I dropped the flashlight. I didn't drop it one day. I went in the basement. I didn't remember where I put it. It occurred to me, all right, in the black room, the black flashlight. <laughs> I don't have those anymore. <laughs> anyway, though, um, I digress. Most people have had black things, black blades, and stuff like that. So this motion and this motion are the same motion. So your, your defense technique cannot differentiate because you can't tell. Uh, like I, you, you can be stabbed and not know you're being stabbed because you're getting hit. Can't tell. So we don't want to change the move. Just to toss that out there. But who cares? Nice thing. Is uh, let me borrow somebody else. So that, that's an outward defense. Let's do an inward defense. Inward defense is where you do inward defense. Notice that I don't like doing this. I'm, I'm all about body quality. Uh, they, they, call, they call body quality, I prefer to call it's called predator movement. That was a heck of a good sentence, wasn't it? That she made it anyway. Uh, predator movement, meaning that you want to move your body like a predator, like a tiger. You're light but heavy. You know, you're, so so if, if, if we're going to do something, we're going to fight. I'm not going to fight you like a human. Why would I do that? Then there's rules, social etiquette. I'm just going to kill you. That's all. Uh, because at my age, if I get into a fight, it won't be because you called my mom a bad name. It'll be because someone's trying to like murder my children or something. There's no one else I get to fight with. I'm an adult. So anyway, my thought. So let's say, who wants to come here so I can get you really hard? Go okay. ahead. Really, come on, Dad. All right, so, so we're going to work on this inward defense. So with this one, there's a couple of things. One is that, is that if we line up nose to nose, you never want to be nose to nose. If you ever watch a fight and you see two people just beating the crap out of each other, they're like, they're like toe to toe, nose to nose, and then it's over, it can take the most punishment. I don't want to do that. I mean, I'll pay 40 bucks to see someone get beat up like that. That's not going to be me. Um, or Sam. My so if he does like a straight punch at me, like this, I don't want to be here. I, I can. I, I can do that. But I would rather be here. So if we kind of break that down, I do this motion. I don't really care where his hand is. I don't want to have a specific this because what if his hand is here? I hate when that happens. I've done that before. I've got a bridge right here. Actually, look at my bridges from it is going this move. Ha ha! Oh, oh. <laughs> because I don't know if you guys do this or not, we're only trained people punch a bridge. Most of the time it's something like Grrr. when you get a Grrr. punch like that. He's going, and go, ha, ha, oh. It wasn't because he had a super sophisticated technique. It's because he had 12 beers. Um, different thing entirely. I've heard about beer. I've never had it myself. Anyway, so I'm here. So I'm going to block his wrist, and I'm going to put, but I'm going to slide in to pin his body in, right? But I'm putting weight on him. And there's that. So this can be kind of quick. So he does like his punch. I'm going, yeah. I start here because I want to make sure I've got control. There's a knife. Then I slide and I pull it in. You can be all slick about it if you like, where I go, ooh, 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 but we're doing fighting. He punches. Hang him. And punch him four or five hundred times. Come on. Please don't actually punch your partner. Watch it. Alright, you Pressure. So if he's punching here, yeah. 
So, so once, you, once you have that nervous pressure,
uh, whenever I'm talking to kids and young adults, we talk about force continuum. And so they call you a bad name, you walk away, blah, 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 blah. But right now, we're, we're addressing more serious situations and actual combative crime. So that's, that's the, the approach we're having, not a self-defense force for children. So when she punches, boom, I'm here. So I'm putting gravity on her here, right? This hits there, there, and that's, that's my opening move. So trapping hands, I'm offline, and then you hit her however you want. There's these things, these things, these things, these things. I used to really like this one, but then I got into thinking about, well, if she has a knife, do I want that knife crossing my body? And the answer is no. I will never take a knife or a gun and have it cross my body at all, ever. I will also never do something where she punches, and if I go to the inside here, I'm never going to turn my back. Are you insane? Turn your back on somebody who's like, just like, really? Hey, I'm sorry. I digress. Don't tell anybody. Special deal. Don't tell anybody. Anyway, so, what's that? They're good. They are, they are. I've been in the quarters. So, uh, they got me saying a bad word earlier. So, she punches. So, one is I go over here. I'm going to do the inward defense. Inward defense. This hand shoots up and I hit her there. I like this a lot, but it doesn't really matter. Right? So, notice this hand is here and I'm going to type this way. This can go there. We can go there, we can go there, we can go there, we can break that. Have a good time. Be armed. So one, so inward defense, pop in to do your hit, and then play it. Go, go. Now be on. We're being predator, not a human. Humans have senses. Animals. Yes. Yeah, so inward defense does covers everything. All right. You, and then you. So we do this. Up to inward defense. And now what? Shoot up. It's, it's parry. It's all he did. All he did. All he did was parry. Yeah. So, so all he did, but he broke her down. I was wrong. Is that going the wrong side of your arm? There's not a wrong. No. Yeah. He, he was going this way. That's okay. And the fourth is the second one. The first move is this. No, like 
he did not have anything for him besides that. Oh, look! That was it! That was it! <laughs> 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 Start from the start from that trap from there. You just do what you they grab it. Now, interestingly, we're still doing classical sinking. It's just also probably go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Turning that art, by the way, the techniques aren't important. What's important is can you fight in any direction? Can, if, if you're hitting me here, can I go over here and fight? You push on my arm, do I have body quality? Can I, can I hit you there or am I off balance? So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm never going to fight like that. When he punches and I go, <laughs> Ow. it's just the idea of can you, can you retain? Balance and body quality while in my knee positions. That's really all it is. I don't even teach the techniques of that. Who cares? If I'm here and you push on me, or there, it's just a good one. Um, linear baka, same opening move. Right? So, so same knee, opening move, circular baka, opening move, linear baka, opening move. I may change after that, but. It's always the same opening move because it works pretty well. The next variation of it is going this way and hitting and stuff like that. So that's probably out of time. Well, like if you're punching me, that one. But you guys didn't know that move. They would do that, but I don't like it. I'd rather go here and come in and start blasting the move as well as that stuff. But whatever. Um, so my, my point is fighting is fighting. Uh, the moves in cross and down. Our moves in karate. Moves in kung fu, it's the same. But what are you doing with them? So, whenever you get home or back to training or whatever, the thing I'd like you to take from this trapping hand seminar, but this, this is all trapping and stuff, by the way, is uh, what can you take out of what you do and 
really think about how, how, how would you actually fight for this? That's all. Uh, not, not cute, not, um, not ball control drills, not, not martial art fighting. That would be fun. And it's okay to have both. It's okay to have martial art and fighting. It's okay to have sport and art and fighting. But they're not the same thing. That's all. One of my best friends is a 4 3 black belt, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's an amazing grappler. I don't, I've never seen better grapplers than those Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys. Not all of them can fight. The same. But they're sport guys. Some of them can. But, you know, and I can, see, I can go step by step with every martial art the plan at the same time. So find the fighting in your art. There's that. It's there, trust me. Um, anyway, any questions on what we've got here? See, I'm getting better to get a bit of applause. With my first summer, I just got this at the end. I was like, oh, I guess that's sorry. Anyway, so, <laughs> so many good job. I appreciate that. And if you have questions about anything or whatever, ask me what I'll be working about. I'll sit down and move away from the phone. The hands. Yeah, I'm going to punch the same thing. Oh, it's a stick.